Let's play video games! Hello, and welcome back to Hard On Gaming, where the games are hard and so am I. I'm your host, Big Stiffy, and this is Dwarfcraft. Last episode was a little bit... a little while ago. Um, I managed to find my way back to my homeland after many trials and tribulations. Um, I've decided... well, off, off camera, I uh, upgraded my original starting point a little bit. Um, so it's a little bit more cozy. Uh, I want to patch this floor up. Now, last week I had to take a bit of a break in between um, being able to record and upload. Mainly because uh, I managed to get really really sick, and I thought I was going to die. Uh, I guess I caught some kind of bug that was as bad as food poisoning. It was absolutely god-awful, and uh, I'm slightly better now, um, but not being able to eat or drink anything for 12 hours can really take the, take the piss out of you. So, slightly better now. Um, back to recording. I managed to get some stuff uploaded at the end of the week. And I guess uh, St. Patrick's Day has uh, come and passed. Which, um, I honestly never, never really was a fan of celebrating St. Patrick's Day because, uh, to me, it's, it's, it's a fucking corporate holiday, really. Or at least it's being treated like one. Um, I don't see the point in celebrating St. Patrick's Day if you're not Irish. And mainly people just take advantage of the fact that it's St. Patrick's Day to drink a lot. Which I guess furthers the stereotype that uh, all Irishmen are drunks. Which, uh, that's kind of shitty, isn't it? Doesn't really seem like the the best message to be um, to to be spreading. Uh, let's see, what else should I take here? I guess I should I should take some feathers. I need to take some glass bottles. Uh, I'll have to come back for the rest, I guess. Now. I tried looking around uh, off camera uh, for a better location to live in instead of this biome where I get shreked by ogres. And unfortunately, I really couldn't find any decent place. Um, because to the one direction, there's swamp, to this direction, there's just nothing but desert, and I gotta deal with harpies and the cockatrice. Um, to the other direction, there's like a snowy biome, but oh my god, the stuff that spawns in snowy biomes, on top of the fact that I'd have, uh, what is it, hypothermia, not fun, not a fun time. Then I found a fungi forest, which I thought, hey, that might be really cool to live in. But looking in it, uh, apparently nagas and sirens spawn in the fungi forest, which is not good news for me. In fact, that's quite horrible news. Um, so yeah, I haven't really found any good place to call home yet. Um, so for the time being, I guess I'm I'm just stuck here. Uh, throw that to the ground. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? So then... When it was uh, St. Patrick's Day and you had the parades on TV, 
they had something on the news that it it kind of struck me as like why should this even be an issue at this time because uh, apparently they had uh, what was it they had people that were uh, they had homosexuals participating in the St. Patrick's Day Parade which that's all well and good but I don't see why they have to put emphasis on their sexuality in order to be in the parade because the focus is not on the fact that they are homosexuals the focus is on the fact that it's St. Patrick's Day and you're supposed to be Irish right I mean that that's what I thought but apparently other people think that it should be all about them and what their sexuality is and I think that's really fucking stupid and selfish Um, but that's just me. Now, I gotta get some bottled water. And I'm sure some people probably think that I'm some kind of fucking uh, bigot for even suggesting such a thing, but fuck them. I don't give a shit. You know, I don't give a shit if anybody wants to suck dick or anything, but... For fuck's sake, why is it always got why does the focus always have to be about you? You know, it's it's a holiday, it's not supposed it's a holiday that's not supposed to be about anyone's sexuality, like uh, it's not supposed to be about you wanting to suck dick or get it in the ass or fuck an animal or anything like that. It's it's fucking St. Patrick's Day. You're supposed to be fucking Irish. <laughs> but I guess that's just not the opinion that most people share. So, whatever. Um, now in between this episode and last, aside from building this a uh, little bit more uh, expansive uh, house here, I took the... Um, I took the liberty of getting myself a slag furnace because I did manage to find some iron bars which in my mod pack in order to make a slag furnace you need two furnaces and iron bars and luckily enough I'm near I'm close enough to a village where I can just get iron bars <laughs> so that's that was pretty easy. Actually, no, I think I got the iron bars from one of those um, roguelike dungeons. Yeah, that's where I got it. I didn't get it from the village. Um, now one thing I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to make a camel pack. Whoa! Holy Christ! Hello, chicken beast. Oh Christ! Hit me. I dropped an egg. That scared the hell out of me. Uh, so one thing I need to do is I need to make a camel pack because the camel pack will allow me to walk around a little bit more and go longer without having to fill water bottles. Because uh, I just wear it as a chest piece and I gradually drink from that instead. Uh, but I think for a camel pack I need leather. So let's see here. Yep, I need eight leather and one glass bottle. Which I don't think... I got seven zombie flesh that I can uh, cook into leather, but that's that's not really gonna help unfortunately so I'm gonna sleep through the night and then I guess I have to get more materials because I kinda used up all the wood that I had to make this building <laughs> oh whoops uh, so you know what I think I'll get myself a wooden or a stone axe and I'll 
craft that off camera and come back once I get some materials. Well, immediately after crafting my stone hatchet, uh, I'm swarmed by cockatrice. Uh, good lord. They are everywhere. Um, I, I don't even know how I can fight them all. Oh, hell. Alright, uh... Oh, that one walked away. And I'm fucking sweating bullets in here. Come on. Come at me. You fucking little chicken bastards. Take I'll take you all on. Come on. Well, I'm gonna have a lot of eggs anyway. Come on, damn it. Get over here so I can kick your ass. Oh god, why are there so many? There are so many cockatrice here. Oh, Jesus Christ. A few of them even managed to fucking sneak up on me and take me down a few pegs. Oh, come on, come on. Die, die. All of you die. Come on, die, damn it. This was like a whole goddamn swarm of them. My sword is almost broken. Oh, come on, fuck off. Would you? Uh, damn. I need to have, like, a sand trap for these damn things. Ugh, jeez. It's still following me, I think. Yep, there it is. You fucking chicken bastard. Huh. Ah, you can't get me up here, can you? You fucking asshole. Alright, let's get chopping this tree. So at least a little bit more temperate in this biome. Come on. Come on. You wanna go? Come on. Yeah, that's what you get, bastard. God, once those fucking cockatrice see you, they just, they do not stop following you. They follow you to the ends of the earth, much like the harpies do. In fact, there's a lot of things that will just hunt you down mercilessly in this mod pack. It is, it is quite hellish. Ugh. Luckily, though, they do drop some morsels, so... I think a little decent amount of food. Nice food supply. Uh, do I have any torches that I can throw up in here? Oh, I shouldn't say throw up. Not after how sick I was. Jesus. Okay, so I managed to get some wood. Uh, what I'm going to have to do... I'm probably going to have to venture out to that uh, snowy biome and get some stuff. Uh, what I do need, however, is I need some kind of fuel. I don't have anything I can burn, really. Can't burn that, I don't think. I'm just sweating buckets. Uh, so, I'll cook up some of this uh, wood into fuel here, and I'll be back in a moment. And here we are, we're in the snowy biome. As we can see, there are some polar bears. And I really don't want to get too close to them. But I do want to get some snow. Ooh, a little bit of lag. Oh. 
Now that's over there is one of the reasons. Oh hell, it saw me. Oh god, I gotta get out. That is one of the reasons why I cannot stay in this biome. Uh, where is it? Uh, did I lose interest? Okay, good. So yeah, in the snowy biomes, uh, Cyclops spawn. And it is just as horrifying as it sounds. Of course, I really don't know how much damage everything does. Uh, what is this? What is this? I think this is just a ruined building. Yeah. Okay. I found some cows, so that's good. Oh shit, more harpies. Come on with this. Uh, are they following me? No, I don't think so. Great. So yeah, a lot of these biomes just are really not friendly places, unfortunately. Um, and I think I'm going to have to wrap up this video pretty soon. But I'll get some few, I got a few trees here just, just for the sake of having the resources. So yeah, I still have not been able to uh, start my my mining site. That's something I gotta get started on pretty soon. Um, but I have to design the site in such a way that any kind of uh, gases that I run into underground, I'll be able to collect at the surface. So that's that's something that I gotta I gotta, I have to keep in mind. Uh, let's take all this stuff. I guess I don't really need anything else here. Uh, let's uh, let's get some of these. I'll take the bamboo with me since uh, bamboo seems to be pretty good. And I'll pick up some of these bamboo shoots. Really, only need one, but whatever. It's fine. Of course, nothing's rendering as usual. So yeah, my uh, my mining site has to have. Oh shit! Dull Hannah spawned there. My mining site has to have like a building over top of it, so that I can catch the uh, lighter than air gases. There's a little blue fish. Fantastic. And I really do hope that pretty soon I'm gonna be able to start recording my other games again. Um, I just had a lot of stuff that's been going on that's been kind of distracting me from trying to fix that. Oh, and I don't know if I mentioned this in the start of the video, but I did have to disable the insanity effect uh, in my mod pack because uh, for the most part, it's just not fucking worth it for the video. It's, it, it's a huge pain uh, to have that nausea effect constantly uh, warping my screen like that, so... For the sake of my video, I have to disable it. Um, I like the as much as I like the effect. It's it's just not practical. Um, so there's that. Uh, okay, so managed to get quite a bit done today. I think managed to get some snow blocks to help me cool off. Um, I think I may as well just put them on the floor here. There we go. That should help me cool off. I hope. I really hope. <laughs> so there we go. I got some bamboo shoots. I got more tea. Uh, I'm gonna have to uh, quarry out a little bit for iron. 
and hopefully I can get some and get a bucket and I can get myself a nice uh, cool bath. So that's all for this video. Thank you for joining me internet. Uh, join me next time on another uh, maybe adventure and until then I will see you in space. I bet you were expecting some sort of fancy outro. Nope. Just this. But hey, you know what would be cool? Clicking one of those links below. Yeah. That'd make it cool.